to put the pistons in, you need a couple tools. Torque wrench, piston ring compressor, which goes around the whole piston and clamps all the rings down tight. So that way you can put it in the block. You need a 12 millimeter 12 point for the bolts for the caps and then the rings bearings and get the next step going and I'll put it get all the piston rings in the right location where they're supposed to be and start with the number one cylinder or wherever you prefer but I'm starting with the number one and then working one two and working my way back so way put the first cylinder in piston in get it tight torqued spin it by hand make sure it moves freely and same thing for the second one on number two cylinder torque it get it together spin it by hand and then so on and so forth so that way nothing's binding and you can diagnose it if you find an issue once you have all your surfaces cleaned where your new bearings got to go piston side cap side everything's clean smooth oil free and you got your thread protectors on there I'm just using a tube uh, rubber hose they sell actual ones designed for that but you can just use whatever as long as it protects the threads that way the threads don't hit your crank and if you can see it that's the actual rotation of the spring of uh, the compression rings how they go in correlation to the front of the motor so get your bearings clean these off to get all the oil off of them and then put them in correlation to where they go make sure the oil hole lines up the same thing with the cap and then don't lubricate them because you already have lubrication on the crank so you should be good for that and then I'll show you what I'm getting ready to put it in there and once you get the bearings in and you get your piston rings all in their locations of whatever the manual you're using says is basically you crisscross them your top compression ring is at one angle and directly across from it is going to be the lower compression ring opening and the same thing for the go to the crisscross side the top oil ring is going to be right here and then the bottom oil ring is going to be on the opposite side so basically compression ring second compression ring top oil ring bottom oil ring so that way they're not going to ever come in contact with each other and that should be once you get all that done and then you put your ring compressor on and then you can insert it into the cylinder once you got the number one cylinder everything orientation to where it's supposed to be you got your compression ring compression ring tool You got your crank at bottom dead center. And you got that basically straight up and down. And then you can drop it down in the hole. Just be very careful. Nice and slow and steady. Make sure your ring compressor is even with the deck as much as you can so that way it makes it so when you drive the piston down into the block, it'll try to keep the rings and everything straight. Just makes you hold firm pressure down to where it won't allow the rings to try to pop out as you're going down. So there'll be a nice even transference between it and use a uh, wooden end of a hammer or something like that nothing metal needs to touch this just wood 
or whatever you prefer to your your engine and stuff. So, and nice and easy, drives right down in there. Everything should be nice and spot, and then you can rotate your block. But I'm gonna do it in a minute if you can see how it's just ready to come down right on top of the crank and just come down nice and slow and feed it with your hand as you're tapping down and then you can get it right on top of the crank and once you push tap the piston all the way down with the rubber thread protectors on there hold it with it by your hand before it gets to the crank and tap it down and with your other hand make sure it doesn't come in contact with anything to gall it and just gently make it go all the way down to where the piston rod sits against the crank and then once you got that put the cap on there hand tighten these just with a wrench don't wrench them don't torque them down yet so you get it to where it seats itself and you make sure all all the surfaces mate together pretty good and you can rotate the the assembly now to make sure nothing it moves freely and turns my hand which you can see and then you get it to where you can get the torque wrench on it and then torque it to the specifications of the manual which mine if I can find it real fast Here you go, connecting rod journal. There you go. Connecting rod cap nut. Step one is 18 foot pounds, and then you turn a 90 degrees for the second step. So, torque these 18 foot pounds, and then mark the nuts like I did on the crank bearings, caps. Put a white mark on it and then turn it a complete 90 from that mark and then that's your final torque set and then do the same step for all the other ones one two three four and each individual one you put in rotate make sure everything's free and once you get down to the bottom you'll have the long block done well short block and rotating assembly spinning freely by hand and then once you're done with that then we'll go to the next step when i put the heads on with the ARP head studs and MLS gaskets. Once you get all the cylinder, the pistons in the cylinders, then everything turns freely with the pulley on it. You can turn it freely with your hands. It's going to have a little resistance, but you know that's normal because you got six pistons dragging. But as long as nothing's where you got to really wrench down on it to turn it, it should be fine because. I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but yeah, just a little bit, a little struggle with one hand, but two hands, it turns rotation freely, everything looks good, and I got to store it now, and then come back tomorrow, hopefully, and, and start building the top end, but just put some oil down here, just get some oil on your finger, put in the grooves in the cylinder walls to keep them from rusting, and what I did is I also, because I used that Lucas engine assembly oil, this assembly lube but I also put some motor oil in, in between all the joints so that way when I was spinning it it wasn't kind of it wasn't dry so once you get everything torqued down the torque sequence the 18 and then the second step come back and do the 90 degrees put oil around it spun it all around and everything seems to be fine and then all I gotta do is button up the other pieces but stay tuned for the next ones because I got some cool things planned for this motor. So.